Tales from Tiberia. Episode 5, Bowling for Kobolds. Previously on Tales from Tetheria, the bounty hunters were accosted by Gary and his henchmen. Despite grave wounds to the fearless warrior Krulax, the gang was able to defeat Gary and his band of henchmen using lots of fire. Like, a lot of fire. Gary escaped, though. We, we don't know what happened to him. All right, you're all caught up. All right, well, that was more of a mess than we needed. Gather what we can from these supplies here, and we should continue on before we find any other unwanted friends. Oh, well, uh, first I'm of sorry. all, you're not in charge. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, first yeah. of all. Uh, let's go ahead and stop that sentence right mm-hmm. there. I am the bounty hunter that is paying you to be here along with me so that you can maybe be a part of this uh, bounty hunter guild. You haven't paid us anything. I know. We're splitting the bounty. We will yeah. split the this bounty. Is that is exactly how that will be. But mm-hmm. I am the one that had put this together. I am the one that had gotten this mission, that had did all the back work for it, and you're here. Wait, you saw it. You saw a bounty poster, and you 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 recruited us to come help you, and then you tried to take off with what our bounty. What do you think a leader of a bounty hunting guild does? Yo, you're hey. basically a bad pimp. Yeah, quick, I quick vote. I say we tie him up I'm instead of Quacha. Why would you we tie, take the rope? Let's tie him up. Dare you? Oh, yeah. All right, hold on. With All that, I'm tying, tying up Falamir and letting Quacha. As soon as he be says free. that, I pull my Wait, bow and arrow. Wait, are there good pimps? And I point it okay. at um at a uh, Batu. I can't imagine there's good uh, pimps ooh, out there. Now pointing it at Batu. At Batu. Now, how mm-hmm. dare you? I recruited you for this mission. And if you try to take one step in the direction of this mutiny that you are proposing, I will take this one shot and put right through this man's heart, and no one will get the bounty for this alive person. I am Deborah Mm -hmm. Mustard, and I put my thumbs Mm -hmm. together, indicating that I will light you on fire, but not you. I woke up to Batu, and I put it next to Batu's head. Your move, bro. These are my friends. What? We'll kill this guy. We'll uh, kill I, you. I, we'll take your stuff, bro. Oh, are we all here? Are we just sitting here saying we're going to kill this guy? Huh? Huh? Are we going to do this? Wait, I'm sorry. Who did you threaten, Deborah? I'm threatening Batu right now. I don't care. Wait, why this are you threatening? Threaten Everyone us? stop threatening Batu. We need him alive for the bounty. Now keep yeah, in mind. Batu is bound and gagged with his arms behind his forest. back. Just like, yeah, kill me. Kill me. Yeah, keep in mind. I only recruited the monk and the dwarf, and now they have a pet rock and a pet frog. I am not a big fan of that. I am not planning on sharing my cut with those two. That can come from you. But as I said earlier, I am the leader of this expedition, and I will be bringing this to where it needs to be, and if you three knuckleheads are going to stop me, then no one shall get this bounty. Okay, I wink. I wink at Kaizen and I say, "Okay, dude, you're totally in charge. Just put the bow down." Wink, wink. Yeah. Up. Uh, oh yeah. Perception like check to see leader. if I see his. Uh, so this would be insight. That is a thirteen plus. Uh, I believe my insight is just uh, two. Uh, so fifteen. Oh no, no. I'm sorry. It is. It is zero. Zero. So thirteen. Thirteen. Um, tough to read. I mean, Krulax is... I, I mean, could have just it, had something in my eye. So yeah, I am... It's a, it's a tough no, situation. I, oh, but, no, now that, the other important thing to note here is that typically you roll dice against my NPCs. If you're trying to roll against one of your party members, they get to decide if it works. Oh. So oh, with a 13... It does <laughs> <laughs> Don't give him that kind of power. Um, all right. Here's the thing, I do not trust you any more than I can throw you, and as you can tell, I am not that strong of a man. Yeah, well, the feeling's mutual. We don't. We I don't know, really we've trust known you each either. other for only a few days, but no, I have paid, or I am in the process of going to pay you for a job, and I do not like the idea of a mutiny. So, <laughs> either we are going to work together and we have to trust each other, or this man shall not make it to where he needs to be. Hmm? Okay, we'll work together. Listen. Can you say yeah, sorry? Yeah, we'll work together, but, like, definitely check your attitude. Yeah, and Deborah wants a sorry, because you Can got you a bunch of sorry? warriors on this side, and, um... What? Why I am I apologizing to a pet rock? He has no emotion. Oh, my gosh. You know what? You don't have to say sorry, but just know that I'm lo- I'm looking at you. Can we check the wagon for loot? I would like to check the wagon for loot. You can check the wagon Ooh, for let's loot. Let's all do that. So, you put out the fire on the wagon. And uh, go ahead and everybody roll an investigation check for me. Every single one of you. 
Oh, jeez. Is that a 20? That's a d20 plus your investigation. 10 oh. plus 0, 10. 12. 19. Okay. Sorry. Damn. Uh, I have a plus 4 on investigation. Um, and I that makes me an 18. Okay. Damn. I have... Not twice, I have a 19 but I plus a see. 2 on investigation. It's 21. Relax and Kaizen continue nice. to just be dumb. And Kaizen, what did you get? 12. 12. Okay, we'll start with uh, Krulax and Kaizen. Uh, Krulax, you find 10 gold pieces. Neat. Oh, aren't you a little richy rich? I love it, yeah. <laughs> I rolled a 10 and a 1. So, you find 24 silver pieces. Hey! Which is 2.4 yeah. gold. Uh, 13. 13. Yeah. You find a potion of healing. I rolled a 69. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. You find something 69. called. Ki- you find something called Kiog Tom's ointment. Uh, it looks like <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a uh, it's an ointment. Kiog Tom's ointment. This glass jar is three inches in diameter. As an action, you can use a dose of the ointment uh, applied to the skin or swallowed, and whoever does that receives two d8 plus two hit points ceases to be poisoned and is cured of any disease. We'll say that you also can find, if you want to switch weapons, you can find some other weapon choices. There's a lance, there's a whip. There's also a set of shackles. Um, I'd like to I'd like to grab the whip. In fact, I'd like to attempt to- Oh, uh, no, this is gonna be great. To, to fashion an ax yes! whip. Yes! Basically, <laughs> basically uh, a whip with an ax yeah. at the end of it. Yes! So I can kind of, like move it axe around my head and then whip. whip people with an axe. Yeah, I love so it. So I have my smithing tools. I would like to try and smith that up. Yeah, go ahead and roll uh, a smithing check. Uh, 16. 16. That's true. I did axe bull us. Yeah. yeah, I mean, not terribly hard to, to MacGyver this together. You also have an ally who can help you tinker with the finer bits. But basically what you're doing is tying an axe to with a whip. <laughs> so it's not like you're doing heavy machinery here. Um, Rebel axe! I will say that one of your throwing axes, uh, n- now, if you wish to use it, has an extra five feet of reach. So you can sweet. you can throw it and plus, leave plus it. Can I, plus, can I get it back automatically? Because yes. it's a whip axe. If, if, you're, if you're pulling it back, you can make an athletics check to, to catch it. Otherwise, it might bonk you. Woohoo! But you can also pull it slowly. <laughs> if you want to. But, like, as part of an action, you can just, like, whip the axe, pull it back, or you can, like, slowly pull it back to not see if you hurt yourself. But, yeah, you got an extra five feet of reach on that one. You're, like, discount scorpion, dude. That's dope. Yeah, discount scorpion. (laughs) Die over there! Yeah. So you're on... Get closer to me! (laughs) um, And you can also all take a short rest if you so choose. Oh, yeah, I need to do that. I'm still hurt. So you have taken your short rest. Um, you've had a nice mid-morning fight against Gary, Terry, and Mary. You have stripped the two deceased members of the Golden Fist of their tabards. One of them is sleeveless and is like torn, you know, like a you know, like a biker gang kind of. That one was Terry's, and then you've got a more uh, women's cut version uh, from Mary. Those you find as well. Uh, Dibs, I'm not wearing find... the women's cut armor. I just I call Dibs, so I don't get the women's armor. You, why? You don't want the women's armor? Yep, that is correct. Well, it's not. It looks so good. It's not armor. It's just like a cloth oh, tabard. Yeah. You know, Dibs are not having it's that It's a one. shirt. You do have the tits for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I point my arrow at you. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's uh, also rope. There's extra adventuring kits. All of that random garbage, like a tinderbox, lanterns, all of that stuff, we'll say you now have access to in this cart. In the cart. If okay, you yeah, take, the cart, take the cart, yeah. if yeah. you take the cart with you, I'll just say that you have that. Otherwise, mm-hmm. you're gonna have to tell me what specifically you're taking uh, out of the cart. Based on how no. easily it seems like this frogo was able to get out of its bounds, uh, maybe we should go ahead and move uh, this necromancer to the 
to the cart and use the shackles to keep him there. I feel like those might be more difficult for him to escape from. <clears throat> You sure, know, yeah, I that works. And saying. then we can take the cart and continue on. Uh, I Go think ahead. we take the cart, and uh, I'm going to say I'm, I'm keeping these shackles in my back pocket. Sorry, guys. I'm not using them. You can tie them up with more rope. There's more rope in there. Just put a bunch more rope around them, like an extra 45 feet of rope. Are right, you going to let your pet rock talk to you like this? We need the shackles. Uh, See, I, that's why I'm keeping these shackles. For... I don't trust He's you. also not a pet. He's a when friend. When I sleep, you're going to tie me up or something. <sighs> I... What? Also, he might want them for kinky gnome sex. We I do not need to know more about that. I do not. I just. I'm not trying to use them on you. They will be attached to the necromancer, but I don't care. Tie him double knotted. Uh, sure, in the cart. Whatever. Let's just get onto the road. We might also need it for you because I still don't trust you very. As much. I do not trust you. That's weird because you hired us. I know. I am starting to regret <laughs> it just a little bit. <laughs> we'll give you some other things to regret. Uh, okay, so uh, we get in the cart and uh, get on the road. So yeah, you get on the road again, on going places that again. you've never been, and you come to a fork in the road. There's a wooden sign with two directions. To your left says is the sign... You all can read common, I assume? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You all can read, I assume? To the left, there's a point... But there's an arrow that says eh. Targus... <laughs> And then there's an arrow that says Luhum Lake. To your right, well, there's yeah, a yeah. there's an arrow that says Muldoon Mountains. Well, according to you guys, you do not want the extra attention in Targus. I understand. So why don't we go ahead and say we will take the mountain path? It will not be a safe adventure, though. So keep your eyes peeled and your swords are ready. We're going to walk into a trap, but I'll go with you guys. Why? Did you set the trap? All right. Up? What? Yeah, there's no. T- I mean, we're, we're walking into more danger. I feel like by going uh, north through Targus. I feel like those Targus guys. The last time we were there, they were kind of dicks. Let's just avoid them all together. I... All right, guys. But I've been to these mountains. Oh, you have. Yeah, I've lived in. I lived in those mountains for a couple months. That you know, you found me. I, I was. I was on my way moving. I was playing some pranks, but there's some. There's some scary things. Oh yeah. Ah, we took on yeah. dire trolls. I'm sure we can handle it. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, so we're doing the mountains. Okay, so, you're so we're headed, headed to the mountain pass. You're headed to the mountain pass. You take a right and head towards Pilgar. Later in the day, it's been several hours at this point, and you do finally emerge from the foothills, which you were in already, and it's now mountains time. You're in mountainous, um, rocky <laughs> It's mountain terrain. time, guys. Everyone, move your clocks ahead an hour. That's right. (laughs) Everybody make sure that they've all synchronized their watches. Um, And you come upon a bit of a, what looks like a settlement. Um, There are wooden uh, stakes in the ground preventing you from taking the cart any further forward. That's what you see. You see Uh, sort of like a makeshift fort. It does not look like we can take this cart, so I'm going to detach my horse and we can put the prisoner on the back of that as we ride forward. Should we okay. yeah, get the prisoner out, or should we maybe investigate the area? Yeah, before we move forward, because we could always just take this stake out the ground, right? But this fort is a little scary. It's made Fort's out of wood, though. Scary. I have fire bombs. Yeah. Uh, I have, I have, yeah, I'll take a look. Yeah, uh, as a ranger, I have strong investigation as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why yeah, don't we let Bellamere Sure. Yeah, Bellamere. All right, so it's plus five, I think. I'll double check. <laughs> Ooh, that was a 19 plus my big number, which Eight. is... Nice. Dang. Uh, investigate is plus four. I'll say that, that, right. that 24 gets you everything. Okay. Uh, go ahead and take a look at the map, <laughs> everybody. Uh, peeking over the, um, the the low wooden wall there, it seems these are just impediments designed to be picked up when need be. Um, this looks like some sort of encampment. You see small goblinoids. They aren't exactly goblins. With your eyesight, you would be able to identify them as kobolds. Um hmm camping in this area. Several of them sit around a table. Some of them sit around a campfire. Um, uh, You actually don't see the one that's furthest to the right there, but there is another one that's in a tent. And they they appear to be eating a meal or cooking and squabbling a little bit. Does anybody speak draconic? Uh, Not draconic, no. Okay. Yeah, they are speaking draconic, and they're sort of making... How many do I see? There's four of them? You see six. Six? Um, uh, I, I whisper to uh, Krulax, 
Uh, I see six here. If we can take these out as quickly and quietly as possible, it might not bring any surrounding <laughs> enemies to this fight. I do not think we will be able to get by without getting their attention. So how stealthy do you think this group can be? I am thinking not very much. What, what is that? Here. Uh oh, here we go again. I could disguise myself, right? I could go in there looking like one of them and I could say, hey, I found a human, <laughs> right? They're all probably down to like go and find this human and kill him. They all follow me, and I'll take them right down a little a little area where you three can pop out and just get a bunch of pot shots. I now, Deborah. Get them Deborah, out of I love your enthusiasm. However, I am going to have to point out that uh, the last time you tried the whole disguise tactic and and fool them didn't really work out for us. Maybe uh, it maybe out a for stealthy take. You know, maybe uh, yeah, but I got shot like eight times, so we're gonna also, maybe we take a stealthy I've, I've ambush got a attack. Plan. Can, can, How about Krulax with his loud mouth? He 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 drives what? straight in with the cart and what? and and uses it as a distraction. The three of us will come around and we'll use all, all of our stealthiness. Uh, Falimir, you know, go ahead and stay behind and use your your uh, your arrows from a distance if you'd like, but uh, the Rock Gnome and I, I think we can get quite close. I have a problem with me being the distraction. <laughs> we are right here, they are not paying attention. Why don't we just, you know, Krulax. throw an ax and throw a sword and I shall shoot some arrows. Krulax rubs his arrow wounds. Uh, so let's take a vote on a plan of action, I guess. Did you do this when you rubbed your arrow wounds? What? I, I mean, they're like here, right? I don't yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but <laughs> I'm just like nipples. both my arrow wounds. Yeah, mm, my no, arrow I'm wounds. At the map. Mm. What? Actually, uh, with the little Guys. gnome, can you actually speak Dracone? How would you get them to follow I you? I can't, but I can speak a great plan. And this plan is: you I'm know? gonna listen. We take the stake out the road. We light the cart on fire, scaring the horses. They run into camp at the same time. We all pop out from surprise. It looks like they're fort on fire with the cart on fire. Right I now. think I liked your first plan more than that. I don't think we need to light okay. the cart on Who's fire be, since you have the sticky bombs and you can yeah. just maybe throw the sticky bombs at them. Okay. I don't like any of these plans really, but I'm going to side with Kaizen. I'll ride in. I'll make some noise. I'll be a distraction. And then you guys take them out. Although I really think, and I'd like to point out, I think we that the sneaky members of the group can just sneak up and take a few out, and then uh, if something goes wrong, you know, if if uh, if things go bad, I'll pop out, and we can go we can go loud, as they say. Okay, all right, let's do that. The okay, st stealthers, let's 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 stealth. I got your guys back. Okay, so what's the plan? Uh, so I'm the, staying at a distance with members. my bow and arrow. I will stealth. We should all creep up in a slight fan, like in a like in a crescent moon, with our ranged attackers on the furthest flank. Uh, sprouting his plan, uh, I would like to take a little uh, flint and tinder to the back of uh, Cruel Axe's like, uh, garbs and just see uh -huh. if I can light the back of it on fire a little bit. Sure. Uh, why do you make why? a sleight of hand check? Let's kill this. Let's just kill him. Uh, I'd also like 14. to point out that that flint and... Yeah, and... 14's not gonna do it. You okay. try to like... Ch 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 <laughs> and it doesn't quite... He, he, he doesn't catch you doing it, but it doesn't catch his garb on the fire. Yes, oh, because you do it. need steel in order to do Oh, yeah, that. you can make, an, make, a, make a... Um, you can can make, I make a perception yeah, check? Yeah, make a perception see, check to see if you catch him doing it. You're trying that. to set me on fire? Yeah. yeah. He rolls... Oh, sorry, not high enough. <laughs> I rolled a three. Oh, yeah. yeah. Lucky. <laughs> I'm going to kill your character. Uh, after I see that this doesn't work, I'm like, you know, I don't have better plan. Let's do what you want. <laughs> Kaizen, you're sneaking. I'm sneaking. Cool. So we'll say that you can sneak. Um, there are some good hiding places around the wall. Um, it's a little bit of a divot down into this camp uh, beyond the wall, so you can sort of slide past. And also, it just looks like it's a, uh, a sort of like a... Uh, a th these barricades between the walls are movable, so you can get past them. Um, it looks like they're designed to stop carts, specifically. And the road does continue past this camp. And there's also a barricade on the far side as well. 
I believe I can. I also have Mask of the Wild. I can attempt to hide even when you're only slightly obscured. Yeah, that um, works. So, so I'd like to get as um, as close as possible to one of uh, the the goblins. Sure, kobolds. Uh, They're kobolds. kobolds. They are Thank kobolds. You. So you can get uh, behind this tent area over here, or behind these crates. And have a wonderful and be very, very close to the three kobolds that are around this campfire here. They appear to just be, you know, cooking, maybe. Oh, yeah, stealth kill on the way. Love it. Um, and you can overhear these three, uh, they're sitting at the table. They appear to be playing cards. Hate cards, hate anyone who who plays cards. Gonna kill anyone. Dogs, hate cards, hate everything. This is not the fan of much things. I'll move behind that center wall. So I just want to be, I'm not going into the camp. I'm just, yeah, right there waiting to, and listening. Uh-huh. Can I like peer through the slats in the wall to sure. see if I can? Okay, so I'm, I'm looking for, if things go wrong, I'm going to pop out. Absolutely. But yeah, but yeah I'm, I'm hoping they can take them down stealthy. Cool. All right. Uh, Deborah, what are you doing? How far are the goblins or, or the draconians, the kobolds from, uh, from where I am right now? 35 feet to the closest, 50 feet to the furthest. Uh, I would like to acrobatics, which I have a proficiency in, plus three, Great. with dexterity. I want to move, I want to hop up, climb the wall, and I want to uh, take a stealth position on the other side where I have a height advantage, being able to overlook the whole scene. Fantastic. How far away do you think I am? Um, if you're trying to climb the wall, it's like ten feet up and then a, and then a couple feet down. If you're trying to go around, you got you got like your full movement, assuming there's a ladder for you to climb. Um, I'll just hop over just to be more stealth, okay. and I'll just stay there. Go ahead and make an acrobatics check for me. All right. Is that with a d20? That's with a d20. Um, I got 11 plus 3 okay. with my proficiency. Good enough. It's a 10-foot wall. It's not terribly difficult. You're able to scale uh, like a tree and then get up there, and there's a, there's a little barrel there that's about your size. And by your size, I mean it's a barrel for someone who is your size. <laughs> right, like a little, there's a little pony keg, right? Uh, and you look, and all of the the kobolds are about your size. They are three, mm. three and a half feet tall. Uh, mm. Can I, with an extra movement, can I check what's inside of that barrel that I'm behind? Sure. You can take the the bung out of the bung hole of the barrel, and you're just making up words inside. now that are dirty. Go go ahead, go ahead and make a uh, a sniff check. This will be perception. All right, that's a 16 plus. My perception is only plus one. Okay. Um, it smells vaguely of uh, of oil. Mm-hmm. Um, smells mm-hmm. like a smells like a, a bomb of some kind in here. Can I see yep. what's? Uh, oh, yeah. can, can I, I see I, him can that I he make saw any in signals it? with my hands? You you can p- peek over the wall uh, and like and like make points and. Bomb sa- signals, if you want to. Okay, so then I, yeah, you, uh, I'd like to. I, I, I see you, and I just with my hands motion like a rolling, uh, like a uh, gesture with my hands, as I, as I pull my quiver. Cool. And from your angle, you can't see like where the barrel is, but you can see down into the camp. Yeah. Because the camp is down a little bit. Right, this okay. whole this whole thing is like sort of slanted, it's like a little valley, little valley, yeah, and it sort of peaks mm. back up on the other side. Mm-hmm. As you're waiting there, uh, I'm gonna have Deborah and Kaizen make stealth checks real quick. Okay. Uh, and while you do that, you do see an elderly old kobold, um, dressed in finery. Um, looks wow. like this is a this is a. Um, uh, sort of has like a like a gray robe, um, and walks out with a with a staff and starts ambling towards the the po- the uh, the game players over here, and is angrily chirping at them. Get back to work, and says that in common. And the uh, the two who are seated here get back up and start walking towards the wall. 
These two appear to have staves of their own, but on the end of their staves, they've got like, they've got a scorpion on a stick and they've got a pot that just is like, has like green stuff rolling off of it. They've got a weird basket and they, these two are moving to various points towards wall ladders like this. They're moving to these ladders over here. Uh, the other gentleman looks at the th the remaining four who just look like normal, uh, you know, kind of regular kobolds. They've got like, like loincloths and they start um, putting out the campfire. I want to initiate, gang, I'm initiating. I'm going to use my mage hand in order what? to give me some extra pushing power. And I want to push this barrel okay. um, as hard as I can towards the center where the, the four and the, the one in the finery are located. <coughs> um, and yeah. uh, uh, if I can, at the same time, take a firebomb out of my backpack and put it on it before I push it. Uh, I haven't lit it on fire. Cool. The bomb is on the barrel as well as I love pushing it. it with my mage hand for extra power. Cool. So you, you take the barrel, you take the, the sticky bomb, put it on the top of the sticky bomb, roll the, roll the bomb on its side, aim it down the alley looking to play some bowling. Go ahead and make a... This would be... Let's do intelligence. And bowling for kobolds! It's my favorite game! Do an intel, Roll a d20, intelligence to aim it exactly right and get the right, you know... Uh, angle, and then you can go ahead and add intelligence. Okay, Nine, I mean nineteen is going to be able to aim it correctly. So you push it off. Let me see if it just breaks immediately. Nope, doesn't break immediately. <laughs> um, so you shove it off, and it goes doom, 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 and it starts rolling towards the other kobolds, and they all. And they, it slow turn, t slow rolls towards them, and it goes boom, 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 and it's about to get to the fire. Uh, oh, it's going towards the fire. Um, since I gave him the gesture of, uh, and then said that I pulled an arrow from my quiver, um, I, I definitely would have wanted to make some kind of uh, opportunity attack on the barrel itself when it got into range to be able to spill as much oil and fire out. Cool. Uh, I don't know yeah, if I saw him dude. put the explosive on there though. Didn't, I didn't put they the put the fire out anyway? No fire. They were they were in the process of putting the fire out, oh, and yeah, as yeah, the okay. barrel comes, they look at it and they go, <laughs> 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 like they're throwing they're throwing dirt and and water on it, trying to put the fire out before it gets there. So can I once once it gets in range of them, not necessarily just the fire, but like take a shot on the barrel with one of my sure. uh, magic flaming arrows. Great, go ahead and Do make it. an attack roll. And that's plus seven, because I was a famed like archer. Uh, ooh, it's going to be a 13 total. Hmm. I mean, this is a moving, rolling... Oh, should it be target. out of uh, advantage? Because I am hidden. You're not ooh. hidden from the barrel. Oh, yeah, no, that's... The barrel doesn't <laughs> I don't care know. that the barrel hidden. see me? <laughs> the barrel is not going to be surprised. The, the barrel is pro? <laughs> The barrel is prone. It is also it's surprised and it's prone. Neither of those <laughs> things are going to factor in. Um, your flaming arrow. So here's here's what's going to happen. Uh, the kobolds successfully put out their campfire. Whew. Oh wow, great! The arrow moo shoots back into the campfire. The campfire <laughs> lights up again, <laughs> and they freak out again as the barrel keeps coming. What else does everybody else want to do? A cr it's Krulax that's near me, right? I just whisper, I meant to do that. Well, you're, you're on the other side <laughs> of the wall, it looks like. Yeah. yeah, but you whisper back to me. Right. Okay. Uh, so it looks like it's rolling towards the wall. Okay, so it looks like things are about to go down. It looks like we're about to go loud, as they say. So I'd like to run, start running towards the opening. Or through it, if I can make it. You sure can. So you're going to go full, full movement. Your movement's 30? Yeah. Yeah, move me around the left. Ten. Yeah, or oh, the right's oh, fine. The, yeah, that's the fine. left no, no, is fine. The right's fine. Either okay. way. Okay. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You get about there. One of them is next to you. Well, am I am I how close am I to that barrel? Maybe not quite so close. Uh, you're 15 feet from the barrel. If I can hit that guy, I'll just run out and and hit him. Crack that guy. Yeah. Okay. This is Let one of the ones that has like uh, a basket 
uh, on him. Is now it the one with the scorpion? Him, see, yeah, you see that this guy has a scorpion on a stick and a basket of centipedes and, uh, like, green slime <laughs> in a pot and a skunk in a cage and a wasp <laughs> nest in a bag. Like, he's just covered in random garbage. Actually, can you back me up, like, five, and I want to try the whip axe on Sure. Yep, yeah, whip axe. Whoops. All right, whip axe! Or, I'm sorry, I'm calling it a grapple axe. Grapple axe! My grapple axe! Except I'm not grappling. Oh, that's a 17! 17! Plus, uh, <laughs> plus five. That's yeah, that's going to hit. Not hard to nice. hit. They're not wearing any armor. Uh, All right. They're also itty bitty. They're short. They're like three feet tall. 1d6 plus three. That's a three plus three, six. Nice. That one takes the six damage. It doesn't Bam! Look, it doesn't look super happy about that. Axe whip. So they the now know you're out. there. So go ahead and roll initiative for me, please. 14 plus 1 15 I have yeah I have 15 yeah, I got 13 me 6 uh, uh and I'm a 7 So up first is going to be the old gentleman who looks at you and says, "Hey, who are you assholes? <laughs> what are you doing here? What what are you doing? Hey, cut that sh- It's one of those Brooklyn Cobalts. Are we allowed to curse? Sure. Hey, cut that shit out! What the fuck are you doing here? They've got like a real, like, high-pitched, angry accent. Listen, you come into my fucking house, and you cut, you just like, roll barrels at us? What the fuck, you assholes? I'm just gonna, you all gonna, listen, you're gonna die. And he is going to, uh, point finger guns at, I guess, just Krulax. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Or no, he'll look up to see where the barrel came from. Go ahead and roll a stealth check for me, Debra. Stealth, stealth is, uh, uh, stealth I have plus three proficiency, but I rolled a five, so I got an eight total. Okay, so he'll see you, sees that you pushed the barrel, he'll shoot, uh, he, he's gonna cast a spell. Uh, he's gonna cast Scorching Ray. Oh, jeez. At you. And so here come, here come some Scorching Ray finger guns. From the Cobalt Scale Sorcerer. Um, uh, one of them is going to miss Debra. One of them is going to hit Debra with an 18. And then there's a 22 at Krulax. 22 hits. Armor class 16. Yep. So here's the damage. Sorry, sorry. Six at Krulax. Seven at Debra. Ooh! He's going to go pew, pew, pew! All right, I'll teach you assholes to come into my fucking house. And he's going to get up on this table over here. Get him, boys! Hey, what what happened with the barrel? Uh, oh, right, the barrel. Uh, that will explode <laughs> before he gets up on the table, so he's not in range. But these four will be in range. Um, yeah, those guys have five hit points. <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> so I don't think there's any way that they don't just immediately all die in a fiery yeah. explosion. Well, can, of... can, can they make saving throws or something? Sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll give them all saves. Ooh, I rolled pretty high. Damn it, laser corn. To be continued next time on Tales from Tetheria. Krulax here. Thanks for watching. If you want to see me and Noah go head to head in Battle Masters, you can click right over here. And next week's episode will should be right over here, or there that might be reversed. I don't know. Just read the things and click. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>